three, two, one. Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Brad Suggan. This is a great time lapse from downtown Lansing. This is 127 right near downtown. Notice we had tons of sunshine through the day. Shadows, of course, you know, kind of trailing there. So the sun's very low in the sky this time of the year. But wow, it was nice to see it. Blue skies hopefully put you in a good mood. And hopefully everyone's getting, you know, that to-do list checked. Yard, patio furniture, holiday decorations, things like that all checked off. Speaking of holidays, we are watching Silver Bells very closely. Of course, a lot of us will be outside that evening. I am happy to say that the warmest and maybe the best day, honestly, is still yet to come, believe it or not. We will cool down with some rain moving in awfully close to Silver Bells. So here's how this looks. Low pressure with a trailing cold front racing across the country. It'll be very windy with some rain first thing Friday morning, but the clock in the upper right hand corner of your screen, eight o'clock in the morning. Now let's go toward when we're all headed out for Silver Bells. The rain is gone, which is some excellent news. So it might be a little bit cooler, but at least we won't be wet. And honestly, there won't be that much wind either. We'll have a high pressure settling in and that should kind of nip that in the bud for us. So that would be great. Tonight, upper 30s to about 40 degrees. Very nice. And then into the day tomorrow, we'll make a run at 60. And despite having a cooler night overnight into Thursday, check this out. A strong southwest wind will boost those numbers well into the 60s. And that that is what I think will be the best day if you like the warmest temperatures. And of course, save on that heating bill while you can, because we all know that there's probably some cold weather coming our way. As we head into the day Wednesday, that is all beautiful sunshine, maybe a high cloud or two. And then notice once we go overnight into your Thursday, pretty much the same thing. We're going to keep those skies nice and clear. A couple high clouds possible into the day Thursday. Notice those wind arrows. See how they kind of kicked up a notch and moved faster. That southwest wind will be pretty gusty through the day Thursday, but it will drag in those warmer temperatures for us. So over the next 72 hours, look at this. The cold front is just charging across the country. So by Thursday, it's still pretty far away, moves through about 12 hours after that. And thankfully, because it's moving so fast, It'll be out of here before we head down to the Capitol building in the background there for Silver Bells. Tonight, high clouds possible, 37. And then, of course, I'm not forgetting, tomorrow, basically a holiday in the state of Michigan. We have the opening day of firearm deer season. No snow or anything like that for tracking, which, you know, is kind of a bummer for hunters. But we will be in the upper 30s, cruising up into the 50s by noon. So everyone out there first thing in the morning, there's that southwest wind. If you want to kind of plan your positioning, it'll be about 10 miles per hour. And it's going to stay out of that direction all morning and all day. Now, tomorrow the actual high will be up to 58 degrees, so it'll be a very nice November day. And then the warmest day, Thursday, 62, but some of us might even get a little bit warmer than that. Unfortunately for Silver Bells in the evening, we'll cool it off into the 30s behind that cold front, so the high temperature will be as you head out the door in the morning. But for the weekend, pretty close to average for this time of the year. We're down into the 40s with some more sunshine and the week leading up to Thanksgiving already. We have 41 with some rain on Tuesday.